No one now living in Midvale had ever told a Negro that he must not eat in the white section of the cafe, that he must not vote, that he must sit in the balcony at the local theater. There were no laws saying this. It was just understood between the races, unquestioned, a part of a way of life. The Negroes did not seem to resent this. The whites did not seem to think of it as some special privilege reserved for themselves. Whites and Negroes worked together, hunted together, ate together on camps, laughed together, and grieved their dead together. But they did not eat together in the cafe, sit together in the theater, go to school together. They were as close as brothers in some things and as distant as continents in others. Yet no one had ever asked why. 